Yo, what is up everyone? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So if you haven't realized already, Halo just continues to go downhill. At this point, it seems like they're nose diving off a cliff because it's just falling off so hard, man. You know, looking back at season one for Halo Infinite, we take a look at the cinematic trailer. I just think it's kind of funny and ironic how it's like all about hope and stuff. And back then I was pretty hopeful. So if you haven't heard, Microsoft has laid off about 10,000 employees. And according to Jason Trier, 343 was heavily impacted. And apparently it was mostly like the campaign side of the studio, the ones who work on the campaign and the single player experience stuff. Also a while back, Microsoft actually trademarked Halo The Endless. And so that actually left people believing that that would be a campaign DLC. Even I thought it would be something like that. Or possibly even a future new Halo game. And yeah, so people now are just assuming that that's going to be cancelled if it was a campaign DLC. According to Jason Trier, there was never any campaign DLC in the works. So there was nothing to be scrapped. Um, so who knows? I mean, maybe we were never gonna going to get a... Um, campaign DLC. And of course, as all this Microsoft layoff stuff was happening, there was a bunch of devs, you know, tweeting goodbye on Twitter. And there was a bunch of rumors about 343 becoming a publisher. And even Joe Staten apparently may be leaving 343, which I'm definitely not a fan of because Joe Staten is one of the OGs who worked on Halo 1 and 2, I believe, for the story. And it would be a shame if they lost him. And 343 becoming a publisher, honestly, I would kind of like that idea imagine if we could get like several other halo games and have other studios just kind of work on them and basically 343 would just oversee them and stuff like that i honestly wouldn't mind that i think that'd be kind of cool anyways moving along here as all that was going on there was actually some x343 developers who were kind of knocking on i believe i guess 343 or microsoft calling out the leadership you know calling them incompetent so not only that but marty o'donnell the original composer now this happened more recently he kind of low-key roasted <laughs> i guess 343 or microsoft i'll go ahead and read what he said so he says if a baseball team had a losing record five years in a row you don't just fire the coach you fire the gm imagine if it was more than a decade i love baseball <laughs> i don't know if it was kind of low-key roasting you know the halo franchise you know how it's being handled and everything i mean if you look at the replies uh i mean it kind of points towards that but who knows maybe he is talking about baseball not that i know anything about baseball anyways so anyways we did finally get official word about what exactly is happening with halo and this comes from the studio head the new studio head for 343 i believe his name is pierre pierre heights pierre heights or something uh, i probably pronounced that wrong anyways he pretty much just says that they're going to continue working on halo creating you know stories multiplayer all that so a few days later after they tweeted that official word of them still continuing to develop halo so ign actually made an article just saying the same stuff that was rumored earlier on saying that 343 is becoming a publishing team and to reconfirm that 343 is not becoming a publishing team Unishak actually responded to this and he says they just dispelled that rumor this weekend which was the official 343 tweet saying that they're going to continue developing Halo and whatnot. So take that for what you will. I guess that means they're going to continue working on Halo because even if they were becoming some kind of like publishing team or something I'm sure they can't really say much anyways. So take that for what you will. We also got word from Phil Spencer about the Halo franchise, which this just happened, I believe. Well, by the time I'm recording this, I don't know, but happened much more recently. And yeah, he just further supports saying that they're going to continue supporting Halo Grow for as long as the Xbox is a platform for people to play. And he also says that they got some things that are rumored and some things that are still to be announced that they're working on. So he basically just says they're still going to support Halo and all that. Anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Um, Halo is just such a mess right now. The franchise, the Halo franchise is just such a mess, man. I honestly don't really, I'm, I feel like the f future for Halo is kind of bleak. I just don't see what there is to really look forward to, even though Phil Spencer said they have some stuff that's not announced yet or rumored. I mean, what do we got? We got the BR mode for Halo. Whenever that comes out, people, I think people are speculating that it comes out this year. And then we got Halo Infinite Season 3, which is like, honestly not much like it's nice yeah we get the dmr and i guess a cool equipment but other than that i don't know man it just feels like it's gonna take a lot more than one season for infinite to actually start picking up pace and what else do we got we have the halo tv show <laughs> season two i'm already not into that show i try to give it a chance too man i try to give it a chance but even if they're not you know sticking to like 
the canon side of uh, Halo or whatever, like the official lore. Even if they want to like do their own path, it's still bad writing, man. Like some stuff they do is just like so weird and makes no sense. So short term, I think Halo's just it's gonna be on the back burner. Uh, there's not gonna be much happening. Maybe until like 2025, we'll start seeing something. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys hopeful for the future of the Halo franchise? Or do you just plan on moving on? I feel like most people have moved on. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one. Consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. Peace.